would you like to share notes, links, etc., between your PC and your mobile device? My name is Angie King, the Tech Angel, where I help heart-centered business owners confidently DIY and master their technology. And in today's video, I'd like to share with you a tool that you probably already have access to and don't realize it's a Google tool. Let's share the screen and I'll show you how awesome this tool is. So I just have a brand new Google page open and you'll notice over on the right hand side, you know where you have the three dots, that's where we find it. So if we click on the three dots for the Google apps and just scroll, what you'll notice is that there's a, a product here called Keep. Now, I'll just open it up, I'll click on it. Now I have access to that because I'm logged into my Google account. Now I'll just stop the share for a second. Um, I also have on my mobile phone and I'll just grab it for you. I also have on mine, I have a Google folder that I have created, but you'll notice that down the bottom row, there's a yellow icon and it says Keep Notes. And that's just the version that it is. The newer versions are called Keep. So to access them on your phone, you'll need to go to the Play Store and then you'll be able to just access Keep or, and it will then appear on your mobile phone. So because I've logged in onto Google on my phone, they're actually automatically synced. Now I'll just open it up and I'll just show you. Can you see that the top item there says shopping list and then the next one down is links. So they're all my links to my um, different Zoom accounts. They're links to my, uh, what am I say? My Facebook page, Instagram page, like all those social media accounts, which is awesome because, you know, often you see on Facebook, somebody will say something like, um, share your, your Instagram account here or share your YouTube link here. So you don't have to go off to Instagram to get it and then go off to YouTube to get it. You've already got it right there. It doesn't matter where you are. You can just copy it and put it straight in. So that will save you heaps of time in actually doing it. And it might mean if you're like me, it's easier to do it. So I actually do it as opposed to going, oh, I better do that sometime and not actually getting around to it. So let's have a look and show you how this works. So I will share my screen again. So you'll notice here that I'm in, uh, in my keep at the moment. And you'll see I have a shopping list. And you'll see I have like a whole heap of other things um, account. So you can see I use it all the time. Now, just say, for example, I'll show you with the shopping list. Now it's pinned. So that means it'll stay at the top. And you'll see there I have five items in there. And at the bottom one, the coconut, I, I just say I bought it. I'm in my shopping list. I've got, got the app. I'm clicking it off. I can click it. And you'll notice it's now gone down to the bottom. So I have probably about, I don't know, 70 items down there that I just keep, you know, recycle and add them when I need them. So you'll see that there's four items there now. So eggs, deodorant, coconut milk and wine. And if I want to now use oyster sauce, all I have to do is take the tick off and you'll see that it has now moved up and it's above the line. Now I'll show you in a moment. There you go. It's actually already, already there. So I'll just quickly stop the share again. And you'll see that, can you see now that it's, it's already there as well? So it's, it's gone up. So that's how quick it is. It just, like I was saying, it just syncs. So let's share the screen. So what happens here is we can create a note. So let's just create the note and we're gonna, actually I'll stop that, I won't do that. I'm gonna click, can you see the little box there that, that with the tick? I love the checkpoints. So I use them all the time, you know, for lists, for to-do lists for all sorts of things that I want to check off. So let's click on new list with the checkpoint and we're going to call it new list just so that it's so um, adventurous. And we're going to have a new item, which is like point one and then point two. So see how basically automatically it's come up with the checkpoints. But what we can also do though, is down the bottom here is you can set the reminder. So you can have the list, have it to remind you at a certain time to, to do a particular task. The next one along is the collaborator. And what that does, it means that you can share this list with somebody else. So you can share it with your team if you're both needing to work on things together and you can check them off as you're doing them. It can also be at home with your family. You could have you know, a shared shopping list, for example. Um, the next one along the palette lets you choose background colors. So if I choose like the lovely, beautiful orange, you'll see now that I've got the list in orange. 
Um, you can also choose, obviously, like any of these background images as well. You can set up your own photo. So there you go. You can set your own photo as your background, which I'm not going to do now. And then lastly, you can do some archiving and you can obviously delete it and things like that. So you can, oh, you can even add drawings where you can yeah, draw, physically draw on things. So that's my list. I can just go, okay, there's the list. And now if I go to my phone and I'll just stop the share, you'll see that there it is. Can you see there? There it is. So how cool is that? So I love, like I was saying, so if you, just to recap, it's already on your computer. If you go down to Google, go to the apps, you'll see that it's there, it's called Keep. If you go to your devices, you can pack it up from the Play Store or the Apple Store and it's called Keep as well. It's a Google app. And then you can have, as long as you've logged into your Google account on both devices, they will automatically sync. So have the most amazing and abundant day. And if if this is something that you'd like to see more tips like this, then pop over to my website, angieking.com.au, where I have numerous tips that will help to make your life so much easier and help you to confidently use technology. Have that most amazing and abundant day. I look forward to talking to you next time. Bye.